Now, I have a bit of a question for you, and hopefully you can clarify this. What's that? The last time you had me on here, you were getting over being sick. Yes. The last time I saw you in person, you became sick. Yes. And now you're getting over being sick again. Yes. What exactly is going on in this dynamic where I am your um, gateway to feeling miserable? I don't know. I, I, all I'm saying, you get to a certain age and shit just starts falling the fuck apart. <laughs> I, I don't think you're like a store mannequin where the, all the parts in the hinges just fall apart and collapse one. No, day. that's exactly what happens. No, you're not that headless mannequin in front no, of me. No, no, it's, it's in Grey's Anatomy. That's exactly what happens. Well, we did, did you get your PhD from watching Grey's Anatomy? I, I, I was talking about the actual Grey's Anatomy book, you know. Oh, okay. You, it's 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 like the first anatomy book ever. Read. You've probably never heard of it. It's it's really obscure. Apparently not, because the only greatest anatomy I know is um, sex, death, sex, death, <laughs> doctor jargon. I've offended a lot of people who love that show. <laughs> Sorry. Uh everybody, Luke Spencer of Rock Reviews. How are you guys doing? Boy, did you! This is a great week, Luke. Yeah. Um. I. Got it. I saw a tweet saying this is actually kind of chaotic. So, just level with me. Am I gonna have nightmares from today? I don't or? know. I I had a list of the real news, and a list of the what the fuck is wrong with your news. Yeah. And I didn't know which was which. Cause shit, this this week the real news has bled the fuck over. There was it there, is just today even just the crap today that's been happening. Yeah. It's been awful. Ugh. So I don't know. I guess so, come back from a three-day weekend and everyone just loses it. Yeah, I, I guess we're going to start today with everyone's favorite topic, which is politics. L let's get the intro going here. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. It sure is. No one's going to say any angry, horrible things in the comments. No, it's who's ready for a good time? Politics. This is going to be fine. It's going to be. Uh, it, it's going to be fine, Luke. You're, you're going to okay. have. I trust your judgment. Is is that a good se se statement to say, or I just do no, myself? No, that is not. Each week, Catherine, the radio editor audience, go out in the world wide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here. We'll say what we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? And politics, yes. we're we. This is one of those things where I complain about politics, but they, they should never really cross over into my milieu as it were, over here on what the fuck is wrong. It should never really do. But you know what the fuck happened? It goddamn did. For those of you who don't follow politics avidly, the Libertarian National Convention was held this, uh, this weekend in Orlando, Florida, which should be your first clue. Something's gonna go off the rails. Now, a party convention is normally where things like the, the party's candidate is chosen. This time they chose Gary Johnson. Everything seemed to be going, you know, perfectly normal. Then they got to voting on the chairman of the party, the person who, who represents the party. And um, we got video. Oh, boy, do we got video. I'm, I'm going to play this while I give you the link because, oh, mama. Ladies and gentlemen... This gentleman on on your screens right now, this is James Weeks. He is the uh, he was candidate for the Libertarian Party chairman. Now, at this point, people associate the Libertarian Party with sort of the fringe, and that that that's that's you know one of those things they've tried to escape. So, so this year they had you know Gary Johnson, a former Republican governor. They they, they tried to be you know beef up their credentials. And then this Just happens. say it. he came to Florida. Just say it. He stepped into Florida and he lost it. Whatever it is, I can already tell. I don't know what's going on, but I can already tell that's I, the I sent you the link in IRC. And the music starts and the oh. clapping begins. James Weeks, chairman, and, and the, the, the crowds are like, okay, we're gonna do this, we're young, we're hip, we're modern, we're good. And then the jacket comes off, and and then, then more came off. Lots more came off. 
And the crowd's not with him. The, the crowd's not with him. No, they're not, sir. I wouldn't be either. They're, they're, they're not. They're, they're not. They're not with him on this thing. But this happened in America in a major. I thought when we had Donald Trump in a Republican debate defending the size of his penis, I thought we had. This is as far as we're going to go. No one's stopping him. No one's even trying to stop him. No, but but then, then came the Libertarian Party convention. This this is this is a political party of uh, what's considered a large and valid. They they're expecting Gary Johnson to at least get ten, if not fifteen percent of the vote. This happened. <laughs> okay we're gonna cut costs no matter what first to go clothing it's like you ever say i've been in arrested development where joe really wants he's it's, we he's the magician we demand to be taken seriously yes yeah that that's that's what that's that's that's, that's been their platform for what a decade they've been fighting that for that just to be have like on the same level as the gop and the and the democrats for, okay, first of all, the guy apparently had this planned out. Nobody knew about it, yet everyone's covering their eyes, laughing. No one's doing anything about it. No one... You kind of have to vet these people. You kind of have to make sure that the, the, the candidate for your party's chair is not going to hop up on stage and go all full Monty on your ass political porn it's a, that's what this is now we have transcended to the next level of awful pornography and you can't say oh no that's not gonna be a thing this is real this is what exactly what it is too and and even better people, <laughs> oh am i missing something <laughs> yes you did people have been have been speculating about this but not only does he strip on his shoulder right shoulder is a tattoo of what many people looked and went is that the iron cross which that's a twofer uh naked and nazi <laughs> so now lots of people are going that's that's not the iron that's so not Sure the fuck look like an Iron Cross to everyone in America. Who, you don't... <laughs> even if it wasn't the Iron Cross, just, just hypothetically, who the fuck in America is going to go, hmm, no, that couldn't be the... I'm going to Google every possible permutation of the Iron Cross symbol and find one that fits a more happy... No, they're going to go, that's a fucking Nazi. Stripper Nazi. Stripper Nazi. That's not the, I've never been to a strip club, but I'm willing to bet the outfits they put on, one of them's not Hitler. One of them's... <laughs> An attractive college girl does not have the Hitler mustache coming out doing the march and trying to strip from that. You're giving them ideas, though. You're, uh, you're giving, someone, someone is watching this somewhere going, hey. Some girl named Cinnamon is going, yes, that's what I need. I will corner the market. <laughs> Yeah, you, oh my gosh, can you imagine how many rednecks would fly to that trip, that strip club? I mean, across country just to see the stripping Nazi. Ugh. So, yeah, this this is is not how the Libertarian Party wanted things. This no, is the third party. So we have Trump, who everyone was comparing to Hitler. Yeah. But now we have a stripper um, war German veteran supporting the Third Reich. On the third party. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I this, this isn't much better. I mean, at least Trump didn't do that. This this is not what they wanted. I mean, they were so mad. Libertarians were so mad. They could not figure out which conspiracy to blame. It, they were that mad. <laughs> yeah. It, it was. And, and th the thing was, this is all anyone talked about. Yeah. Well, OK, that's understandable but this is not a position where okay we decided yesterday you're the guy 
Let's see. This had to have been a long time in the planning for this guy to be in this position. Many people had to give him the thumbs up. Yeah. Which no one ta- like sat down and talked to him at lunch and like really got a grasp of the guy, what his sense of humor and his personality was. The, the absolute worst thing that happened at the last Republican convention was Clint Eastwood yelled at a chair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not nearly. That was kind of one of those. What the hell? But no one really went. This is one of those things. I mean, because Saturday morning, go. I was reading the news going into this. They were talking about Gary Johnson, his credibilities. Bob Weld wants to be his running mate. The party isn't really kind of sure about, you know, the normal wonky kind of political stuff. Right. But after the weekend was over, all anybody was, man, did you see the naked fat guy? <laughs> that was it. That, We're talking politics, sir. Boom. Naked politic porn. Sir, this is a serious discussion. Big man boobs on the political stage. Well, the sad thing is it has to be a serious discussion because this fucking electric. It does. This is not like some offshoot small town, some guy trying to run for school board or something, which would have been worse, by the way. This is huge. (laughs) You remember in 2008 when the only thing we had to worry about was Sarah Palin just saying something stupid? Yeah. That's it. Oh, that That's was a gold problem. That was the golden age at this point. Man, and we were worried about that too. Now shit's no. no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I gladly listened to that again. At least we knew that now, was Now, Weeks claimed he did this, quote, on a dare. <laughs> That's even worse. What's what's gonna happen if he moves up in politics and advances? Like other people are gonna dare him to pass laws? Well then that that's North Carolina actually so hr2 was a dare yeah that's the one thing but speaking of dares let's let's move a little ways away from america let's go to china this one comes from uh i hope i'm saying this right xinjiang xinjiang yeah i think i'm saying that right this comes from xinjiang china there are a lot of things i have been dared to do while drunk Lots of things. I mean, everybody. You, I'm sure people have dared you to do shit while drunk. <laughs> That's a great way to start a conversation. It is. <laughs> this is one of those things that if someone had dared me to do drunk, I, I would have actually sobered up really quickly enough to say, go fuck yourself. Xinjiang man eats eight 15 centimeter nails to impressed friends. Rush to hospital months later. For emergency surgery. 28 year old was rushed to the hospital earlier this week after he swallowed eight 15 centimeter nails in a bid to impress his friends. Look where they are on the x ray. Yes. After, after being mocked by one of his friends, he, he, two months ago, he had tried to claim to his friends he was a trained sword swallower after being mocked by his friends. To their surprise, he took out a pack of large nails from his pocket and began to ingest them one by one. After he'd swallowed his eighth nail, his friends stopped him. Eight? <laughs> after, not after the first nail. Not after the second. No, no. They had to wait for him to down eight of the motherfuckers before they went, hang on, buddy. Maybe eight's your limit. Maybe that's if you were cu- really our friend, you'd eat seven nails. <laughs> I, I, okay, twenty-eight years old. He's not seven. No, he's not seven. You're, you're not. If, if you don't get to the age of twenty and learn some things are not supposed to go, nails. like nails, for example. Like, like I say in the X-ray, like in the X-ray, it looks like surgical equipment, like some type of like bolting stuff to pin, like pins. Except it's not. <laughs> they went the fuck everywhere because they're nails. But how did he, like, even, like, just rolling around in bed, like, walking, like, sitting up straight, how did that not destroy him? It took months. Mo- Doctors were shocked by x-ray a- images which showed several nails had pierced his stomach. Yeah. <laughs> But after swallowing the nails, I didn't feel any pain. I didn't think anything of it. I never expected it would turn out so bad. Where did you think they were going to go? They, I you eat don't, my castle on a daily basis. My stomach acid can handle anything, okay? <laughs> you don't just eat nails and they go to nail heaven, okay? Yeah. <laughs> One of two things is happening. 
Either you were going to the hospital or you were going to have the worst night on the toilet, toilet you have yeah. ever fucking had. Nights? I think that's like a 48 hour session. Oh, yeah. Uh, I I just don't even get like digesting that much, like having it go through your like your throat and like through your chest one by one. I, wow. This is this this is not a party trick. This who are, who are these friends? How cool are these friends that they had to be that impressed just so they can get this so this guy can get their attention? No, eight eight's fine. We believe you now. All right, all right. You can sit with us. Sit with us at the cafeteria. He ate eight. He ate eight nails. He's guys, cool. guys, move over. Come on. If he'd only eaten seven nails, he'd be full of shit. But he ate eight of them. He's cool. He's cool. What was your name again? It uh, doesn't matter. We're calling you nails from now on. <laughs> God damn. His wife is a lucky man. Is a lucky one. Oh yeah, she's she's probably just like God damn it. Every every time you hear it, what? It's like they say behind every great man is a great woman. In my stories, behind every man in one of my stories, there's a woman going, God damn it. She must have the patience of a saint. Because you know this is not the first stupid thing this guy's done. Oh, God, no. No way. This is not, he was not bad in a thousand up till 28 years old. And this was the first step. There's no way. <laughs> oh, we have another blatantly stupid how are you alive moment. <laughs> this one comes to us from Chicago. Okay. Um... Pop quiz for you, Luke. Okay. You're driving along. Come to train tracks. The gates come down. What do you do? I stop before the train tracks, at least 100 feet before. Yes, that is exactly what you are supposed to do. Why? Who doesn't know that? This lady. <laughs> I'm supposed to, supposed be, to be dead. dead. <laughs> That headline. Oh, that's great. Driver walks away from collision with the brown line. Marquetta Berry knows how lucky she is to have walked away from a collision with the brown line trail at Rockwell Thursday afternoon. I'm supposed to be dead, she said. The impact hit so hard. It, this gets so much better. No, at approximately 3 p.m., Berry was traveling south on Rockwell, saw the crossing gates down at the track, but didn't hear or see a train... So she drove her van around the gates. Quote, I thought it was just a test. I'm used to choo-choo. You thought it was a test. You think they just played the choo-choo sound on speakers when they're testing it out? I... Oh, wow, that's a weird bird flying by my car that goes choo-choo. Oh, well. You, you didn't, she didn't hear the train, so they was just testing her. Even if they had just been tested, you failed the test. The test is stop. I test once before, I'm fine. God, come on, lady. Even if she didn't hear the choo-choo, which I will forever now think whenever I hear a little toddler go choo-choo, I'm thinking of this lady. When even that, she had to have seen a train coming. Did she not look left or right once at all? Uh, the the loop-bound train clipped the rear of her van, van, which then spun into a car waiting on the northbound side of the track. Oh. She got hit by the train and then hit our car. Nobody was hurt! Okay, great. That's great. How mad would you be if you were that second car that got hit because of this woman? I... I mean, how mad would she be? I'd be like, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I'm out. Fuck you. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm not, dude, no. Mm, no. I'm, kicking, I'm just going to kick my feet up and just let everyone, th everyone work this out because I'm coming out with some money and a new car out of this. <sighs> I, okay. I'm having trouble understanding like how she could get through the get gates and then get stuck before the train hit her because she heard everything. And she says, well, oh, I thought it was a test. That she, still doesn't make sense, though. What happened was she didn't see the train in the moment. She drove around, and as she was driving around the gates, then the train came, smacked the ass of the car, and slammed her into another car, and miraculously, nobody got hurt. Instant laxative. 
going through that on that on that railroad and like you're like eh. <sighs> yeah you're fine you you, you are, that is like nature's colonoscopy right oh yeah there. You, <laughs> you, you 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 if you were you know, any if you were not regular you were going to be clockwork you after that shit. You have a Pavlovian shit. instinct. Every time you hear a train, you have to go to the bathroom instantly. And Pavlovian's, Pavlov's train. <laughs> Choo-choo. Oh, my gosh. My stomach. My, my, uh. Okay. Even young teenagers at 16, I know everyone's freaking out about texting and driving and everything like that. Even they would know that. I, I I don't have that much faith in people anymore. Uh, well, they know that. You would think. I, I Then again, you know, I've lived in Florida for the past few years now. I've seen enough to understand that humanity, once you get to a certain state, it does basic common sense doesn't really apply anymore. And speaking of basic common sense doesn't apply anymore, let's move over to Ohio. Oh, the segues. So many segues. So I, I thought, I don't know if you saw a few, there's a reason I didn't cover a particular story I'm going to mention. I thought it's a few weeks ago where some people were in Yellowstone. They saw this baby bison off on its own. Mm -hmm. They thought mom had abandoned it. So they put it in their car and drove it to a ranger station. And they ended up having to put the poor baby down because after they took it away, it did get abandoned. Yeah. Well, you would think that would probably get around. No, no, it didn't. This one comes to us from East Lake, Ohio. Thankfully, without the, the euthanization this time. Okay. I feel a little bit better now about what you're going to send me, but I don't know if I should. East Lake police video shows woman bringing baby deer into station. A woman brought a small deer to the East Lake Police Department because she believed it had been abandoned. A woman took the deer to the police station Wednesday because she believed its mother had abandoned it. Part posted the video of the woman carrying the deer into the station. What did... Bambi's mom is not going to come down to the police station. She, I was thinking the same thing. She ruined Bambi. The movie's been cut short by a good hour now. She's not going to be like, I've been looking everywhere for you. A female deer with a wig and a purse. Have you seen my son? Oh, uh, why? Okay. This is going to be sound very mean to say. There's a certain type of person. I'm trying to put this the best way I can that loves to interfere with nature. They love to progressively act in nature, like they're somehow um, Jack Hanna or the crocodile hunter, and they become the perfect zoologist and know exactly what every animal needs. Why does this happen so much to the point where something like you can just take wildlife with you and just do whatever you want? Who first? My first thought when I if, if something I, if I found like an injured bird or something, first of all, I wouldn't be picking up. But my first thought would be um, ASPCA, my yeah. animal control, not I'm going to take it to the police. I'm going to be a hero. The oh. cops don't know what the fuck to oh, do with a baby. Be even more upset that you brought it there because then they have to deal with it the wrong way. They have to call other people. And who are they going to call? Animal control. The people you should have called. So what the cops the cops can't even fingerprint it. It doesn't have fingers. It's got hooves, lady. Some rookie in the station. Dang it, Johnson, I want those fingerprints of that deer on my desk now. They're gonna what they're gonna put milk carton, have you seen me? Mugshot. They're gonna mugshot the sad little baby deer holding yes. up. What the fuck are they gonna do? It's a deer! Oh, they're gonna put it like in the sad little the holding cell. <laughs> oh, this is not their department. When they, there is a saying, not my department, it's because there are multiple departments for these sorts of things. <laughs> this isn't new either. This isn't something they just implemented last year. It's not like, oh, they have one just for animals now. <laughs> Holy shit. 21st century is amazing. No. It's, the, it's not like, you know, your house is on fire and you call the bakery. This is not how it works. Just watching the video, she's carrying it around like her purse. She's just carrying it on her arm like it's an accessory. Leave I, the baby deer 
if you have if you are concerned, you call someone, they right. come to you. Do not pick it up. Do not take it. It is not like it's not like it exactly. doesn't. She clearly had the time to to wait for a for animal control to get there. If she had the time to pick it up and take it to the cops. The baby the baby deer doesn't like you. The baby deer thinks you're going to eat it. Yeah. Leave the baby deer alone. I just there's so many stupid stories like this in the wild. Just these morons going in there and trying to do whatever they think is right because they somehow have the perfect knowledge of all these animal wildlife, of every ecosystem, of every species. They know what to do, yet they live in a house that they barely ever get out of. Well, slightly even worse than the ones who think they know what they're doing, the ones who have no fucking clue. Also, this this next story involves whales. <laughs> not not as in whale to the police. Team. Not as in a giant whale, as in the the, the the country whales. Okay. And sheep. So get it out of your system now. Mm. You're sending me a lot of grotesque stuff. Well, this one isn't oh. grotesque. This one's terrifying. I, this is the, a fantastic headline, though. Sheep high on cannabis go on psychotic rampage. Stoned sheep in a West Welsh village have gone on a psychotic rampage, breaking into <sighs> homes, creating mess everywhere. Some have been killed after coming in front of speeding cars. The sheep have reportedly munched on cannabis plants after remains of illegal cannabis factory were dumped. They're roaming all over the village, creating a nuisance. It's night of the living sheep. Uh. <clears throat> County silence of the lambs too. Calamity. <laughs> we will be silent no more. We will not be silent, Anthony Hopkins. Oh. County Councilor Ian Richard warned people, asking them to keep constant watch as the sheep may break into homes. The That's a thousand times worse. A sheep just gonna come headbutting first through your window. The cannabis plantation was dumped in a Swansea Valley in South Wales. There's a possibility that other sheep may discover illegal dumping places and start eating the cannabis plants. Oh, you know there's some stone like teenagers trying to find these sheep. You know there are. They're like trying to follow them around. <laughs> you just know they are. The sheep know, man. The sheep know they will lead us to glory. Not only are they going to make me a wool hat from their wool, they're going to set me up with the good stuff. Oh, the channel. So the How sheep long? were on a rampage. Really? Come on. That That's like Laffy Taffy quality lines. No. No. I, it's... What, I mean, wh how long is this... If Do they know where the pot source is? They said it was like waste or... Yeah, they dumped it in... Dumped it, yeah. Yeah. Which do they what know the where they dumped it and can they go get it? Can't you you can't just do that? It's drugs. You're lucky the sheep found it. That's saying a lot. I mean, also lucky that it's only pot. It could have been a lot worse if you think about it. Oh but still, God. this is terrible. Ugh. This I mean, it it's <laughs> drugs. You cannot. I understand they're illegal. You need to get rid of them. Yes, you can't just go out into a field and go, done. Just... From the makers of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, psychotic, rampaging sheep. And oh. you would think, you would think that the sheep would, like, chill, you know? Because oh. you get them I was, all... I was wondering that, too. Like, usually it's just, like, a not a sedative, but it would calm them down a little bit. They probably no. don't want to move. But... That is horrifying. Breaking into <laughs> just you're sitting around, as loud as they possibly can, chewing on stuff. You're sitting around the TV. You're watching the BBC. Nice little Sunday afternoon. All of a sudden, boom! <laughs> it's like you. You remember those old um, Billy Dee Williams commercials for the Slits Malt Liquor? Yeah, Colt Forty Five. Colt yeah. Forty with the giant fucking the bull would smash through the fucking wall. It's kind of like that, only with no pot. and no Lando Carizia, though, with this one. No, you don't get Lando. You, no. you get a murderous sheep who has the munchies and wants everything in your house destroyed. 
the rich taste. The... No, you got fucking cheap. <laughs> so, yeah. That's so, I mean, I'm sure the sheep will be fine, but they have to find the sheep. This, this is probably a first in Wales when sheep have fucked someone else. I'm going to get letters. Classy. I'm going to get letters. Uh, you have sent me political oh. porn and, sh and sheep ones. And sh oh, 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 oh. oh, we're not even done with the classy yet. We're not even done. I, I cannot tell you how many. I, am, I long for the day when doing this show, there's a word I never, I, I would like to see gone from every fucking headline. I never have to say this word again. It never has to be. But it's not. This is this is going to be a constant. This is going to be forever. It will never leave the 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 what the fuck is wrong with you lexicon. Man pooped on self checkout scanner and bar. <laughs> oh the bug shot. Oh no. I'm I am so tired of saying poop. I'm so tired of it. I'm tired of poop. <laughs> Colin Murphy, 23, was arrested early Sunday following the incident inside the Kroger Market in Hyde Park neighborhood of Cincinnati. According to the criminal complaint, Murphy entered the Kroger and stripped naked in front of a male employee. The suspect, police noted, smelled of alcohol, had slurred speech, and staggered as he walked. After disrobing, Murphy <laughs> defuscated on the you scan it. <laughs> You know, I don't think there, there's a barcode on that. My craft's worth a million bucks. <laughs> it's not. There's not a bar. It's the poor laser scored. What have you done to me? I don't know what this that is. robot got sentience that moment and realized it was in hell. It was in robot hell. Look, I mean, I know this is mean of me. Look at that mugshot. I he am. was going to end up in jail one day, <laughs> one way or another. And at least he didn't hurt anyone except for the poor, poor minimum wage working girl who had to clean up that mess. Uh, this is this is aisle five. We need a price check on. You don't want to know what we need a price check on. You don't. Just come over here. Also, I quit. <laughs> we need a price check and clean up on the same item. <laughs> I mean, mother. We have a customer distraught. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> Thank you for shopping at Kroger. <laughs> what? How fucking drunk? Kroger, too. That's. Uh, it's not I mean, even yeah. a Walmart, okay? That's not. That is not like Aldi or like the really low, low, um, dangerous level of. No, Kroger is, is, is it's the fine. nice. It's, Kroger's fine. It's, you know, it's a nice little suburb place you go and you get your pro. It's not like Whole Foods and shit. It doesn't cost you your fucking paycheck. You go in there and you get, you know, you get tomatoes and, and some guy just comes in and just takes off all his clothes and poops. Not only poops, poops on the actual store equipment that people need to use. It wasn't like somewhere in the corner. By the way, I have a story about that too from my own past job at Best Buy, mind you. <laughs> they what? Wait, what? Oh, would you like to hear about this? This was in Orm, Utah. This was like the third Best Buy ever. Utah hadn't been custom to Best Buy yet at the time. It's just they didn't catch on until later. Um, Nine-year-old boy and his friend were playing video games at the end cap, you know, like you do. Just they have the demo stations. Right. We noticed someone, this little boy, nine years old, kind of doing the shifty thing. Kind of walk around shifting, looking at his friend, shifting. And we couldn't figure out what was going on. I walk by. And Paul walked down like two hours away from him. I see something on the ground and I just like, what is that dirt or something walked in? What the heck? I walk by, file something away, walk back again. I see another employee about to throw up when he sees it and a girl laughing. So what happened was this nine year old boy had to go to the restroom. He didn't know where it was. So he did a lap between the CD and video game aisles, poop defecated in his pants, kicked it out his jean pant leg and then re returned to play video games with his friends like nothing happened. How do I know all this you said? How do I know, remember this so specifically? Best Buy records everything. Literally, oh. he's kicking it out in the aisle, in the carpets, like, eh, 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 like trying to shake it out really bad and just walked back to play, I think like a golf game, some type of golf game. How, I will grant, however, that's a child. 
nine. Exactly. He was nervous. He didn't know what to do. It could have been an accident. This Colin Murphy, who's 23 years old. You get to 23 and you poop it in the store. Yeah. Naked. You, you, stripping down and naked and climbing up like you're so, like you're about to make a big announcement. You got to rethink some stuff about your life, especially that hair, man. I'm, I'm not I'm not saying, but <laughs> what did you do to your fu- It's like, is that he like. It's like he sleeps about 22 hours a day. That's, that's sort, the type of look that is. That's sort of a hipster cross with flock of seagulls. I don't know what's going on there. Flock it doesn't. Of it's like flock of bedhead. The mustache sells it. I think it does. Right. It does. It, it's, it's, like, the, it's the mustache. The fact that he was willing to strip naked, but also climb onto the equipment. That's what I can't get past. He didn't just do this. He climbed up. A, a tons of people had to have seen him. This was a presentation for his ass. <clears throat> oh man, can you imagine that cell that like cellmate conversation that night when he was locked up? What are you in here for? <laughs> That's always the best one. We sit here and go, so what this guy's got what are you in for? Stole a car. What are you in for? Drugs. What are you in for? I pooped on the you scared of the Kroger. And everybody on the group W bench just sort of slides away. <laughs> It said 10 items or less, and it was only two pieces of feces, so it counted. Oh, uh, I, you know. Yeah, the first thing, the, the first thing we, we learn tonight is if you would find yourself naked and pooping on a U-scan in the Kroger, my friend, it is time to cut back a little. On everything. Yeah. On, it says drunk. There's no way that's all he's doing. No. Impossible. No. Impossible. Unless it's moonshine. And he's just... <laughs> we, we, we learned that when you have to dispose of drugs, even in your legal facility, you have to dispose... Don't just dump them in the fucking the field! In the wild! Doing it, some, it's not like... Well, did they even try to put it in a dumpster? Or like just like put it in a hefty bag? No, they just threw it on the ground outside in the woods. The war on drugs has a new victory today. Because the goddamn sheep will fucking kill you. It's green, so it belongs with everything else that's green. We've Ugh. learned, leave nature alone. If you see something, call yeah. someone. Don't, you, you don't, inter you're not the fucking crocodile hunter. No. Don't. You're not the deer whisperer. No, it's, it's not, you're not going to get on Animal Planet. You're going to get on a different show, the one where they call it this show, and yeah. we're going to laugh at you. Oh. We've learned the cross guard gates are not a test. Pavlov's laxative. Pavlov's laxative, yeah. yes. How do you not know? How do you not see one way or another? The trains don't make like a sharp 90 degree turn around the bay. It's, it's, this is not like a prank. Somebody's not playing with those things. If the yeah. things, you stop. Yeah. You fucking stop! God damn. We have learned that true friends stop you before you eat the first nail. Seven. <laughs> Not right. after you I eat it. the club if you get to six, but if you get to seven, you get the hat. That's... No, no. Real friends stop you before you swallow the first one. It's true. That's how you know who your friends are. Finally, we've learned that this political season is... It's not over. It uh, is not over. Just when you think it can't get any worse, it gets worse. I'm tight. Can, can it be November now? Okay, you don't know the sad thing about that? What? Five months. Uh-huh. We got five months, and we have not seen the worst yet. Mark my words on that, too. The stripping libertarian... Donald Trump and all his shenanigans. We have not seen the worst yet. No way. You're saying true things and I hate you. <laughs>